Hello, it's Pat Hood, and I'm back with part two of this um, six pound, 13 ounce, six pound, 15 ounce, whatever it was, jewelry jar. And I tried pulling a little bit out of the top, and this amazing thing was stuck in the jar with all of these beads um, you know, molded in place, or Mardi Gras beads, most of them, you, know, you might call them. And this, it's still kind of stuck, was stuck in the jar. So I thought this would be the best place to start out. This is a lovely hairpiece. Um, I guess jewelry for the hair. Um, like I could see a wedding piece perhaps. Some nice shiny rhinestones. This center part is um, plastic, but these feel... Well, maybe not. That might be plastic as well. It's fairly heavy, um, but a great fascinator, I guess you'd say, to wear in your hair. And uh, um, a, a tricky thing to get out of a jewelry jar right at the beginning of the jar when it's all tangled in with these other necklaces. But it will uh, give me the opportunity to say, hello, look at the bling. Uh, welcome to Passions and Pastimes with Pat Hood. And I can show you lots of uh, inexpensive necklaces very quickly next. So there's the fascinator. And then we have these. I think these are Christmas beads. This is a little bit too substantial in length to be um, Mardi Gras beads. And actually, did I just see an end there? Yes, I just saw an end there. So I don't know if that means they're broken at the end, but... There's a, a knot not worth untangling unless everything else is uh, tangled in here. There's a neck, oh, a hook of a necklace. So, some more. Oh, yeah, the, I think <laughs> this got put in a jar because it was tangled in with a bunch of other things, or perhaps, or they just needed to fill some space. My granddaughter warned me about this. She saw that and said, that's an awfully long thing. There we go. So, um, something to pass on for Christmas. Beautiful, bright, shiny Christmas. Huge length of molded in place beads on string. Very flexible. And who knows, if there's any missing earrings, I might find them in there later. <laughs> Here's another strand of molded in place Tangled up beads. And this is actually, uh, oh, there's another blingy thing that's stuck to stuff. Okay, here we go. So another set of very long molded in place beads. Um, not bad, actually, for, they're not, they're better than Mardi Gras quality. You know, the, the very inexpensive ones. These are probably meant as a, you know, a flapper style length necklace to wear. It's a very pretty color. Uh, I could see it, you know, wearing it with a nice uh, little black dress, the right earrings. You could pull that off. So not sure what I'm going to do with those, but for now they're going off to the side. And then there were these molded in place beads a little bit older you can see the design is um, sort of almost egg shape large and small beads alternating on a spring ring clasp and about 20 inches long uh, a nice it's sort of a pale peach color it looks a little yellow more yellow on the camera than it really is um, but that's a nice vintage necklace that could be passed on um, to someone who wants uh, a nice color for spring and something lightweight to wear. So I think that'll be donated away. There are, this This is broken. Oh, that's too bad here. This, this is a two strand plastic beads. They're kind of green with a little bit of marbling uh, molded in place, but you can see that the, uh, we've lost the chain that goes there. And we have Oh, just a, well, actually, yeah, we've just lost a bit of chain. This could probably be reconnected. There's the hook. 
I don't see a like made in Japan on there at all or anything. So, hmm, not easily repairable since there's no string coming out of there, but um, there's a hook on that side. Hmm, interesting. Well, not sure what to do with those, but they're pretty green, but broken. Okay, and there are more. This isn't really um, molded in place or Mardi Gras, but it certainly can, is stuck to everything. It's one of those, um, people call them apple seed necklaces. You just have to excuse me while I unhook something else from it. So here's, uh, it's well put together. Nicely, nice, uh, nicely shined. I've never seen apple seeds in Canadian apples that are this large. So there must be a certain type of seed that's quite prolific and easily gathered that uh, is then made into these necklaces. I'm sure it has a, you know, to be sold as a, as a tourist. Memento, um, quite long, I would say a good four feet. Um, don't know what to do with these. Um, any suggestions? Anyway, it'll go in the what to do with pile. And then there's this other, not Mardi Gras, but beautiful uh, sort of a royal blue molded in place beads. Again, um, about four feet. Very pretty color. But you can see the seams on them. So maybe costume. Like a, you know, like a dress-up type costume. And here's another hook that's stuck on another. So here's a little, it's actually, the color looks very yellow. On the camera, it looks more salmon-y. Salmon or peachy in person. Folded in place, vintage, uh, with the spring ring clasp. Uh, no markings that I can see. Quite short. Um, 16 inches, probably. Certainly, le definitely less than 18. But So there's uh, another vintage molded in place. And then there's this. And it's, I guess, just missing a, a little ring or chain at the end here. Now this is, uh, these are not molded in place and these are plastic and they go down there. They're a marbleized type uh, plastic. Quite interesting. They look very pretty on the camera. They look, um, cause you can see all the different colors. You have to kind of get up close to see that. So this would, I would repair and probably pass on, um, but short. Uh, again, the in the the sixteen inch range, and I'm not sure. I'd have to tighten up the string, or I might restring it because there are spaces developing, and that that that's never a good look when you have those spaces developing because the string has stretched. But easily restrung, very easily, and most of the clasp pieces are there, and these little uh, rings are easily um, reused. So a bit of weight to that plastic, but um, very nice, very nice. Put it in my repair pile. Now, what else came out with that mess? We might be, <laughs> those those uh, came out so quickly. Um, it's hard to see. We might finish the jar in uh, this second video, even though it was seemed to be two thirds full. This is silver tone. See, it needs good clean. Not city marking on the clasp. It's quite lovely. Actually, on this side, like it's hardly ever been worn. It's substantial weight, but not too heavy. And then it's um, interesting texture on the side that's meant to be worn. Uh, let's, or is it? Let's see. The way the clasp goes. I wonder if it's meant to be worn this side out. 
I think this side is more interesting. <laughs> but I think this is the wrong side. It is. Oh, well. Fooled me. So there we go. Um, again, what do we got here? About 16 inches. And uh, I, I know, I you wonder what I'm doing. I know that I have a 9 inch span. So that's under that. Um, very wearable and excellent shape. Not sure what to do with that. It's, it's, as I said, it's got a little bit of weight to it. It's not marked in any way, um, by, with a manufacturer's mark and it's in excellent condition. Then there's this, this, you think that was heavy. This is, this is substantially heavy. Um, a nice sort of door knocker design. No mistaking what is the front and what is the back on this piece, but it's really heavy. Like, I don't know. I'd, uh, I'd be fatigued wearing it, maybe 18 inches. And uh, there's the clasp. No marking, no maker's marks on the other side. Well put together, but not An expensive piece, I would say that just maybe it's just too heavy, so nobody will wore it very much. Certainly, there's no wear on the inside there. Makes a lot of noise, but once you're wearing it, I think it would just be uh, held in place like that. So, two of those heavy, sort of not choker style, but heavy, and then whole bunch of I'm going to reach in and get some more if there are I think there's more um, more bangles so that we kind of look at them all at the same time so in terms of bangles there was it looks like a lot but really I guess this counts as one it's a, a set there's those three and then one two three four six seven eight nine so twelve a dozen bangles oh there's a set of bangles right there ready to wear um i need ideas of what to do with single bangles that can be donated on to for other people who like to wear bangles um then i think there's a whole bunch of these that are the same okay so these are just a nice lightweight ring there's six of them. They're, oh, they're not too small for me anyway. So I have just average seven inch bracelet I wear. So those are nice, lightweight, excellent condition. They'd make great little hanging frames for something. Then there are two like this. Um, channel set with uh, rondelles. They're... Uh, just plastic and then two like this where the channels are painted I think this is probably a set just because the colors match so well and you can you know wear separately wear them together like that you know whatever very versatile set and in excellent shape and no now that I look try to I'm trying to look inside here um, I, that there's they're very shiny but no markings inside so another nice set of bangles and then this one I was gonna say this might be a little misshapen but I think it's meant to be that shape oh it doesn't fit me it kind of I guess it's meant to have a flat one flat side what do you think I <laughs> I suspect it's meant to be that way. It's just meant for a smaller wrist than I have. There we go. So that's it for the bangles. Um, let's see what else we have. Oh, here's some nice color. Oh, this would look nice together. Look at this. Those bangles and this necklace. Wow. There's a set and a half. Um... So this, let's see if I can lay this out without getting it. That's very nice. So it goes down to uh, 
nice center these diamond shapes oh no not really diamonds more like an arrow what is or is this a diamond that's a diamond well that might be a diamond and then like an arrow well maybe it's supposed to maybe they're all supposed to be diamonds they're just a little wonky but that's very nicely put together um very new clasp i doubt it's ever been worn because that gold tone would uh tarnish quite quickly and at least the gold on the clasp matches the gold here sometimes they they end up putting silver here or silver there and gold up there and, and this is put together very nicely so very wearable sort of tribal um, type necklace put that so it doesn't get caught on that fascinator thing um, now there's some more beads this looks like a um, these look more like more like a vintage style bead but the chain is broken it probably if it's meant to be one piece it could be easily put back together these are lightweight plastic beads yeah. with just silver tone metal connectors but I like the shape of the beads and it would be interesting to do something with that you could certainly pair this up with other um, silver tone chains and things or repurpose it into um, a necklace with stations um, or and chain and make it very very interesting so there's another piece to repair um, getting down to oh here's something that's new on the tag something just fell on the floor so let me so these are bead landing hair boutique hair ties these are just rubber or plastic um, what do you call that spirals I don't know there's a whole set there so what have we got six pieces one two black two silver two gold so if you know anybody who needs some nice hair ties uh, bead landing we get we uh, have here at Michael's in Canada I think it's uh, a brand they have made for them at their store so put those off with they're not really jewelry but you know okay hair jewelry they can go with the fascinator as long as they don't get tangled here is uh, a broken necklace let's see or is it a broken now this is interesting I wonder you could easily put a clasp on this because it's got two hole, holes in the ends. I've never seen this like that before. This is a very long, slinky snake chain, gold tone. And um, let's see, we might have 27 inches here. Yeah, about that, about 27. It looks so snaky. I hate snakes. It looks so snaky on the camera. I'm sorry. Ooh. Um, I have a phobia about snakes, so I know this isn't a snake, but it sure moves like a snake, Jane. Like a snake, sorry. So, this could be repaired and put uh, with a, a clasp put on the end, and then uh, have a usable necklace. Lots of repair pieces in here today. Um, and here's a, what might be another one. Let's see, what have we got here? yeah another repair piece but this looks interesting so here's the clasp so it's a you know um, a box clasp a push-in clasp and here are the beads these are plastic with um, some nice flowers some sort of I don't know what you call that shape and just some regular faceted beads um, in those amber and dark honey colors and they've got that aurora borealis finish on some of them especially on the flowers and then we get down to the other end here um this has just become disconnected but this is a beautiful clasp look at that flower and beaded clasp and on the back what does it say let's go this way 
Western Germany. So a beautiful vintage piece. Let's see if the clasp clasps. So this clasp. There's the goes in there. Oh, so just have to reconnect. Look at that beautiful piece of vintage jewelry from Western Germany. Very, very nice. I love that. That will go in my jewelry collection once I've repaired it. Great. Oh, like what variety? I mean, everything from apple seeds to Western Germany to hair fascinators. Um, I think we have time for a little bit more. Here's some. Oh, this is interesting. There's a piece of chain and here's a. Oh, maybe this was a bracelet, and maybe this was supposed to go with it as a second bracelet. Have no idea. So very lightweight aluminum for sure, cold um, to the touch until you, and then as soon as you you wear it, it uh, as soon as you touch it, it starts to warm up. It's, a pretty, it's an interesting chain, the fact that it sort of spirals with the multiple rings. I don't know what the second piece is supposed to do, but it certainly, I think, is the same length. Let's just check here. Oh, no, that's a bit longer. I wonder if it, there's another broken piece in the jar. We will have to wait and see. We got some more earrings coming up, some pairs of earrings. This one's a little damaged, but that's fixable. Let's see. We've got these shell earrings. Shell is always pretty. Just that wire's loose, might probably needs to be glued back in place. Um, this pair of shell earrings, these are pretty. I don't know if these are painted. Or to get that color on there, dyed to get that color. But what a beautiful sort of sunset looking color. Those are quite pretty. So another pair. Um, there are these. This this pair of a, like a bent leaf, a leaf hoop. Very lightweight. Great shape. I don't see any maker's name or anything. But very nice. Hardly worn. I'm, I might even wear these. I don't wear a lot of hoops, but I would probably wear those because of the design of the leaf on them. If they had enough years to live, I might wear all the earrings that I would like to, to wear. Here's another pair of leaf earrings. These look like those, um, the skeletonized leaves that then they then plate with metal. They're very, very lightweight, but very attractive. Another pair of earrings. We're really uh, lucking out with the, uh, pairs of earrings today um here's i see a couple more pairs of earrings i just gotta untangle them this is a nice set of shoulder dusters whoops helps if i hold that up the right way there you go those are really pretty and those would those could be taken apart and repurposed all these little dangles would make a nice be nice to repurpose into a gold tone bracelet that's probably what I'll do with those ones. We'll see. Oh, these are fun. Oh, these are so much fun. Look at these. These are palm tree. But palm trees with kind of a greenish, very narrow marquee. These are nice. These are nicely put together. And then the smaller rhinestones on the bottom. And look at how it's actually made like the shape of a palm tree trunk. It's not just smooth. It's got those sections like on a palm tree. Somebody thought these out very carefully. Those are nice. Are they marked in any way on the back in terms of? No, but look at how, how nicely made those are. Wow. First time for palm tree earrings. These are worth keeping just because they'd be quite a talking point. Yeah. How oh, neato. I like those. Okay. I'm happy. Um, here's a chain with a spring ring clasp and no markings of any kind. So just a nice little chain um, uh, under 18 inches. So 
16, maybe 17. But uh, chains are that are in good shape are always useful. Um, here's something broken or slightly broken. It's missing one of these, them theirs. No, two of them theirs. It's missing two leaves. Now these leaf, these are glass. I wonder if they're in the jar. Certainly these glass pieces are repurposable. Um, there's a nice dangle. I'd have to look this up to see if that's vintage. It's possible. There's a bit of a, there's a bor Aurora Borealis coating on that. So what do we see on the back here? We don't see any. Yeah, I don't see any names. And they're, they're not really prong set. They're just fake prong set because you can see, I mean, you can see on the side here that the prong just doesn't go up far enough to set anything. So that's too bad that we're missing two of those leaves because it's quite pretty. Excuse me. I, I tried to focus and I managed to move the whole camera. Sorry about that. But it's got pretty pearls. Aw, what a shame that it's missing pieces. Oh, well, we'll put that off to the repair, repurpose category. And um, here's a watch. What kind of watch is this? Whoops, helps if I put it right side up. Von, Von Dor Quartz. Oh, somebody was going to say Von Dome, but I don't think Von Dome made watches. Stainless steel back, Japanese movement, well-loved band, needs a new band. Probably, it, since it's quartz, it would need a battery to see if it worked. Um, I won't spend any time on that. Here's a... Focus, focus, focus. Oh, this is cute. I'm sailing the ocean blue from Nova Scotia. It's a keychain. This is very heavy, but beautiful condition. I love the articulation here. Be nice to try to repurpose that to something. That is really cool. Alrighty, very can very Canadian. This is not jewelry. And there's just a little bit left. Oh no. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out a few more things and then I think I'm going to let this go to 30 minutes and then I'll do the rest and add it on to the first video. So this is a nice stretchy bracelet, though the stretchiness is gone. These are nice, um, what do you call them, medallions maybe? Those would be great to repurpose. Those would be really nice to repurpose with. I got some beads in this color that um, have really nice faceting. That They would make great, um, like a great double strand of beads coming off of a center thing like that. Okay, you are going in the repurpose pile. Here's one that's not overstretched, but look at the shine. I love how this, this shines. That's cool. And it's got that Aurora Borealis kind of look to it that would be fun to wear it's nice and lightweight plastic I think even the metal parts plastic it's a little worn a little bit on the inside but that could be whoops uh oh she's gonna break it if she's not careful um where did I see that that it was needed okay yeah so there's a few little spots but that could be repainted there. That's the big one right there. But that might not be an issue. Like when it's, when you're going to wear it, you're not going to see that. And it's very clean. It just, you know, I would clean it, but um, that could be uh, donated to um, the gratis shop, the free jewelry for people in long-term care. They do uh, like a, they have a jewelry and scarves and watches and stuff table that they set up and people can come and shop for free 
and they get all packaged up in a nice little pa uh, tissue paper and bags. It's, it's a wonderful thing. And the pictures we see of uh, how happy people are just to get something new and bright and shiny and fashionable. So I think that might be a hit there. Good thing to do with that. And I still want to see that funky keychain that I saw from the outside of the door. So, well, here's this uh, keychain that looked so very interesting from the outside of the jar. Um, I'm not sure how interesting it really is. If perhaps you can see it says pc.ca slash charity. Um, and that could stand for President's Choice Charity. I'll have to look it up. And it's uh, like a sunburst and it's a fidget thing. It spins. But that's about it. So it doesn't do anything else that I can figure out. Um, if I find anything out about the charity, I'll let you know. There's No, just a, just a spinner there. Um, and then a few other keychains to finish off this video. Uh, this is very heavy. It's a nice rhinestone encrusted purse dangle. Hollow on the back. It doesn't open up. I tried. Um, but it would be awfully heavy if it wasn't hollow. Um, so I'm not sure what I'll do with that. That would make a really good heavy wind chime dangle, but it's kind of heavy for keys, I think. A little too, um, too heavy. Um, here's a Kate Spade, I assume, uh, key ring. Uh, it's got the, pay, the spade symbol here, and it says, oh, it's dirty. Let me see if I can clean it. Kate Spade, New York on each side um so interesting pretty colors um not sure who would be interested in that and then not jewelry but sort of useful this is a carabiner uh clip here and guess what this is it's not a rocket ship it's a pen so uh a useful item for in a purse but but not jewelry. And uh, sorry to say that uh, these missing leaves weren't in the bottom of the jar. So I'll have to see if this can be maybe scaled down like the end one's taken off, put here, this part taken off. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I'll find any more of these leaves. But who knows, something creative might uh, come to mind. And I am going to check out this dangle. There's Illusion Jewels has a, a list of jewelry dangles and uh, that have been identified, and those that have not been identified as to the vintage makers that they belong to. So I'm going to go see if this belongs to anything, and I'll report back in the jewelry jar. Well, from the sublime to the ridiculous, a pen, this thing that tangled everything up in the jar and uh, that whole mound of, of beads but that uh, Western Germany plastic bead necklace to be repaired is a real treasure so I'm very happy with what I found always like being in a candy store can't choose uh, over what are the best pieces oh and I, re I realized looking at this um, I took the sticker off the back and this says blue nose and I should have thought, yes, a blue, the Blue Nose is a famous um, sailing ship from Nova Scotia that won um, many sailing prizes till it was retired. And it actually, a picture of the Blue Nose is on our 10 cent piece, our dime, Canadian dime. So thanks very much for joining me today. I hope you have a great day and we'll see you again soon. It's Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes.